Kyle Larson finished third, William Byron fourth and Chase Elliott fifth. Also collecting stage points were Kurt Busch, Ryan Newman, Brad Keselowski, Austin Dillon and Alex Bowman. Elliott, the pole winner, took command of the race early, leading the first 10 laps before Stenhouse briefly grabbed the top spot on lap 11. Elliott retook the lead coming to the start of lap 12. Stenhouse was back to the front coming to the start of lap 14 as Michael McDowell moved up to the second position. Halfway through the first stage, Stenhouse continued to lead followed by McDowell, Austin Dillon, Ryan Blaney and Ty Dillon. With 10 laps remaining, Stenhouse held a small advantage over McDowell, followed by Austin Dillon, Blaney and Ty Dillon as there was little movement in the top 5. Byron was the highest-running Hendrick car with 7 also remaining in 10th and he was the only team driver who did not start in the top 10. With 3 laps remaining, Austin Dillon moved up to the second position behind Stenhouse. Stenhouse continued to hold a lead over Dillon with 1 lap remaining. Daniel Suarez, Casey Kane and Corey LaJoy all had to start the race from the rear of the field for making unapproved adjustments prior to the race. Landon Castle could not get his number 99 Chevrolet to start and return to the garage before the race got underway. He returned to the track after a battery change two laps down. <laughs>